Hi, my name is Eric Ryden, certified sommelier and owner of Le Grand Triage on the Upper East Side. Welcome to Casual Friday. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a wine that uh, I'm a really, really big fan of. As crazy as it sounds, it's coming from Paris. The grapes, however, come from the southern part of France in the Rhone Valley, but uh, the grapes are actually organically uh, produced and grown in that region, transported to Paris, and then made on site uh, in the uh, the district of the Marais, uh, right actually near Notre Dame, which is pretty cool. So literally in the thicket of Paris. Um, it's styled after a lot of white wines uh, that come from the Southern Rhone Valley, like uh, let's say White Chateauneuf de Pape, which if you've never had is <sighs> unbelievable, but uh, one of my favorites. And it's probably just as rare and uh, probably just as delicious as a unicorn. When you all taste this at home, the one thing I want you to really pay close attention to is the texture of this wine. I want you to really pay attention to how it kind of sits on your tongue and the viscosity of the actual wine. So go ahead and take a sip. And you'll notice just how the actual texture of it is almost even like creamy, if you will. Uh, and that's really what we're going to focus on today is that body, this like full bodied white wine. And um, I find that people often have issues with kind of understanding the body of a wine. Well, light bodied, I like to think of it as something that's really light, almost even like skim milk, right? It's like water pretending to be milk. Well, a lot of light bodied wines we think of as like water pretending to be wine. And then more medium bodied wines are kind of like one or 2% milk. And then full bodied wines, they have this textural um, so so that full-bodied, whole milk, textural situation, right? Where does that come from? Uh, well, it comes from a couple of different things. One of the most common that we use, and maybe a lot of Americans actually have like a PTSD situation with, is uh, through a process we call malolactic fermentation, which is a mouthful. It's a lot, and it's very scientifically technical. But at the end of the day, essentially what that process is, is we're creating something out of nothing. We have a wine that uh, we're creating a full body texture when the wine itself naturally is lighter bodied. So we're taking like a skim milk and we're artificially making it into something like whole milk. Well, the big difference here is that instead of actually going through that manipulation process, uh, we are just selecting grapes that naturally yield a fuller bodied wine. What does that mean? Naturally full bodied. Well, I like to think of it as maybe something like um, plastic surgery. So if you perhaps um, are lacking certain features that you'd like to see in yourself uh, and it's not possible to just, you know, simply have fuller lips, grow a different nose, have different cheekbones, et cetera, et cetera, you might actually go through plastic surgery. You're creating something out of nothing. Well, our wines actually go through uh, a similar process when we're creating body. If they're not naturally full-bodied and we want to make them more full-bodied, we have to kind of go through this artificial manipulation, if you will, to create that body. And so just as in the same, uh, if you go through plastic surgery, sometimes things go, things go awry and you might have full-blown <laughs> face paralysis, uh, but you also might have really great um, things like just full lips. Well, the same is true with our wines, right? We may have uh, a buttery Chardonnay that's gone way too overboard and it tastes like you are literally licking a piece of wood, uh, but you also might end up with a California Chardonnay that has beautifully integrated oak and is just lightly on that sort of buttery side. But uh, of course, it all depends on how it's executed. Well, here, what's really nice is we've kind of subverted that entirely um, by just having something that's just naturally in that. We already have all those features. It already has the full lips, the perfect nose, perfect cheekbones, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Ah, so this wine's got it all. It's very au naturel, right? Equal parts Viognier, Marsan, and Roussan, a very classic grape blend from this region. Again, all the grapes are coming from the Southern Rhone, but then actually bottled in Paris. Um, I think in order to really go in hand in hand with that sort of very natural mentality, they wanted to build a facility that's in a city center that people could walk in, walk out of, and really see everything and with their own eyes verify that there's no 
um, magic behind the scenes that is manipulating this grape, but rather it is what it is and it's perfect and beautiful and natural, right? Uh, anyway, um, let us know what you think, comment, questions, hopes, fears, dreams, uh, contagion stories, whatever you want. And then uh, join us next week as we go through these wines uh, for our next week's lessons. Thanks again, guys. Stay safe and stay home.